Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today we are going to be making a chocolate chip cookie that's made in a cast iron frying pan. It's just a simple recipe we can do on this live stream, and I wanted to come on and say hello as my weekly live stream here on Tuesday evening. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, had a good day at work or school or wherever you were. And, um... So, hopefully you're not experiencing buffering. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Um, hi, Byron. How are you doing? How, I'm doing well, Byron. I hope you're doing well as well. Well as well. That sounded weird. But, yeah. Uh, hi, Aiko Rodriguez. Hi, how are you? Hi, Mega Man. Oreo the Food Motivated Cat. I like that name. That's a pretty cool name. Uh, so how's everyone doing today? And, um, you know, I'm doing well. I had a very busy weekend. For those of you who uh, follow me on my other social media know that I was at Playlist Live over the weekend, uh, which is a YouTube convention. Uh, internet convention is mostly musically and people who sing a lot, but also a lot of YouTubers. Um, so I was there, had a good time, spoke on a panel, uh, met, well, met some new friends and saw some of my older friends, the friends I've been around with for a while. So it was really cool. I hope everyone's doing well. Like I said, we're going to get into making this recipe in just a moment and, uh, give some people time to come on. There's another cat here. <laughs> Bacon cat. Oh, bacon cat. Well, wow. I like bacon. Cats are cool. Uh, Wild. Hi, how are you? Seth Johnson says, hey, hey. Uh, glad your voice is back enough for the live chat. Yes, um, it's it's enough, but it still kind of hurts a little bit from screaming at Playlist Live. <coughs> so I'll, I'll be coughing a lot during this. Uh, hi again. Uh, hi, James. Close to 100,000. Good luck. Thank you. I am close. I think I'm around 5,000 or so away. Can you make Danish butter cake? Mmm. Sounds amazing, Seth. Danish butter cake. Sounds great. So there's a couple things we're going to do on this live stream. One is we're going to make that chocolate chip cookie in the frying pan. Um, I've done this before and it didn't turn out. In fact, I'm using that picture as the thumbnail. Uh, it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Uh, but it was good anyway. Uh, but also what we're going to do in here is we're going to open up uh, some fan mail. And I got some fan mail in my P.O. box. And we'll open that up later while we're waiting for this to cook. Um, I was really happy to see someone sent me something. And it was a really cool letter. So I'll open it up and I'll talk a bit about that. Allison, hi. How are you? Tech Gadgets, hi. I'm back. Awesome. Glad you're back. All right, so what do you say? I've already preheated my oven. I'm preheating my oven to 350 degrees. We're going to get into this recipe here, and we're going to start making this uh, recipe right now. Huh? What's wrong with people? <laughs> uh, but we're going to make this recipe, and we're going to get into it. So uh, here we go. Let's angle this down so you can see what we got going on here. And so I'm going to use this is just pre-made chocolate chip cookie thing. You can buy in a store, box mix or whatever. And it's really simple because all it calls for on the back here is just butter and an egg to mix with this. Uh, Allison says good. She's doing good. Awesome. Uh, make Reese's milkshake with Mountain Dew instead of milk. Uh, that would be interesting for sure. Remember I asked if you were going to go live on yesterday's video and suggested on stuff. Yes, you did. I remember that, Tech Gadgets, and I appreciate that. Um, I just went with this because it was very simple. And like I said, it calls for one stick of butter, which is a half a cup, and that's softened at room temperature. I've already softened this. I'll just... Drop that in there. And it also calls for one large egg. And here we go. Oh, let me crack it over here. And crack that egg in there. Oh, 
dropping the egg. That's not good. All right, let's throw that away. Wash my hands a bit before we get to this. And also to let you guys know, you guys, uh, I well, I'm actually in the process of making a video right now that will go up on Sunday, and it's because of you guys. You guys helped me out last week on our live stream, and I'm making something that most of you have suggested, and it's really cool. So I can't wait for you to see. <laughs> so we're going to get into this, and... Uh, that's my oven beeping right there. Uh, huge fan. Love all your wacky recipes and your enthusiasm. Add me on Snap. Uh, yes, if you add me, I will add you back. How about that? Remember, Wednesdays are for everyone, but Saturdays are for voice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, add me and I'll add you back on Snap because I can't do it right now. Hey, sorry you're late. Oh, no problem, Nathan. I'm glad you're here. Uh, your mom is, uh, your mom's a beekeeper. Oh, that's pretty cool. Your mom's a beekeeper. Um, I always thought that was an interesting career, you know, beer, beekeepers. So I'm just going to open up. This is pre-made um, mix for chocolate chip cookies because we'll kind of keep it simple here for these live streams. Normally I'd make a recipe from scratch, but live stream stuff, you know, we gotta we got to work through it. You should make a cookie cake. See, that's a good suggestion. I like that. You guys have some amazing suggestions. I love you guys. So we already have our butter in here. We have our egg in here. Now we're just going to mix all this together. I'm doing it by hand. And um, just kind of mix it all in here. just seem very dry like a very dry recipe like here I normally I use like a, a mixer but I've used my mixer today and I haven't cleaned the beaters yet because I'm in the middle of making a recipe that you guys suggested so that's why it's that way um, let's see I'm just seeing if I'm catching up on the comments it'll take me a little bit to mix this by hand but that's okay it's all good right so we're just mixing this, mixing it. It's coming along. So uh, the weather here is absolutely gorgeous today. Uh, it was kind of funny because when I, I flew back home from Florida, and I'm here in Maryland, I flew back into Baltimore's airport, and I didn't get in until almost midnight, Sunday night. Uh, when I came in, it was only like 40 degrees Fahrenheit. It was like 43, I think, something like that. It was extremely cold. Coming from being like 85 degrees in Florida <laughs> to half that temperature, it was just crazy. And uh, I wasn't prepared. I didn't have a jacket. <laughs> but I did have long pants on. I just didn't have shorts. Um, let's see. Uh, what am I making? I am making, it's a chocolate chip cookie, but it's going to be made in this cast iron pan. Now just remember, most cast iron pans are just like this. If you have a cast iron pan that has one of those rubber handles, you can't put that in the oven uh, because the rubber will melt. And So do not do that if you have one of those type of cast iron pans. Only do it if your cast iron pan is completely cast iron all the way throughout. <clears throat> Okay, so I think this is pretty well mixed now. I think so. What do you guys think? Uh, it's all good. Hey, everyone's... Should I add anything to this? I mean, we have chocolate chips in here already, but, you know, we can be creative. Can I add something else? And, you know, I'll do anything. You want sprinkles? You want... We can put chocolate sprinkles in here, too, if you want. It's up to you guys, because you're running the show. Before I do this, I am going to spray this. I'm going to spray it with some cooking spray. Probably a little too much, but that's okay. We can just wipe it around. So I was just going to just spread that around a little bit. Should be good. 
Uh, let's see. I had Cheesecake Factory Celebration Cake. It's interesting cheesecake on the standard cake. Huh. I haven't had that one yet. Uh, whenever I go to Cheesecake Factory, I always get the um, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup one because it's just so good. Someone says M&M's. Uh, I don't think I have M&M's. I need to get some for sure. <laughs> uh, hmm. Let's see. We can go either chocolate sprinkles. We can... We can add some... Um, Here we go. If you want, we can either do chocolate sprinkles or we can do butterscotch morsels with that. So it'd be a chocolate chip cookie and a butterscotch cookie all in one, if you want. It's up to you guys. Add walnuts to the cookies, macadamia nuts. I have white chocolate though. Uh, so your choice is either uh, chocolate sprinkles, butterscotch morsels, or we'll say white chocolate morsels. Up to you guys, take a pick. Take a pick, because I don't have any walnuts. Hand I, I think I have some, but no, none handy. Um, but, yeah, so let me know, and you guys can help me, as you always do. We'll add that right to our both. Hmm, butterscotch. Nice. Butterscotch. Couple butterscotch choices there. Mm hmm lots of butterscotches. Thinking we're going to go with some butterscotch, so I'm going to move my cast iron pan out of the way for a moment. Put this back up here. And we'll, yeah, it looks like butterscotch going to win. So we're going to put some butterscotch in here. Not a lot, just a little bit, just for fun. Mix this through. So now it's going to be a chocolate chip and butterscotch cookie, which will be awesome. Yes, so Cameron Romo says that. So does Wolfie. So the, let's see, your vote is also butterscotch. Yeah, everyone seems to like the butterscotch, which I do too. I love butterscotch. So there we go. That's good enough. So let's put this back up here. And now we are going to just uh, spread this out. So I'll just take this and I'm going to just pop the whole amount right on there. So did anyone else do anything fun over the weekend? Like I said, I was at Playlist Live in Orlando, Florida with my friends and other YouTubers and we had a good time, of course. Um, I wish all of you guys could have been there. That would have been cool. And we only have a little over a month before VidCon in California. So let me see if I can see these comments again. Okay. Uh, Say pie if you see this. Okay, Sophia, I see that. <laughs> um, let's see, peanuts. No, add the whole bag. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right, Cameron. Uh, candy. Mm. Uh, I love you so much. And what's your favorite candy? Ooh, uh, favorite candy. Ah, that's a tough one because I have so many. Uh, for me, it's just um, anything chocolate, really. And I love chocolate peanut butter, you know, like Reese's or anything like that. That gets my vote all the time. So what I'm doing here is just flattening this out on this cast iron pan because we want it to be about even all the way through. We don't want it to have any, like where some parts are real thick and some parts are real thin. All right, I think that's good. Um, let's see if I can read these comments. Uh, let's see. Let me go back up. So who else is going to eat it? Um, but for right now, just me, unless someone stops by. Sleep. Don't sleep. <laughs> I can make movie theater popcorn. See, that's really good. I like movie theater popcorn. Sleeping in. Uh, Six Flags. I don't know <laughs> what kind of comment that is. Uh, uh, I just got home. In the States, I was visiting family in Ireland for three weeks. Awesome. I was in Ireland uh, about a month and a half ago for St. Patrick's Day. I was in Ireland, which is really cool. Uh, Rapids Water Park. Awesome. Oh, so oh, when I asked what everyone did over the weekend, so, someone said, so Nathan says went to Six Flags. Uh, 
Grad Bash 2018. That's pretty cool. That sounds like a graduation bash. Uh, Rapids Water Park for Oriole the Food Motivated Cat. Universal Studios. Awesome. I hope you weren't in, what was that, China or Japan? There was a Universal Studios and the, the ride, they, somebody got stuck, stuck upside down for like a half hour or two hours or something like that. They had to rescue them. Oh, I wouldn't like that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, loved your Death by Chocolate Pancakes. They were amazing. They were really, If you love chocolate, you would definitely love that. Tried making it and it tasted good. Awesome. You live in England. Awesome. I love England. I've been there many times. Hi, Bob. How are you? Um, let's see. What part of Ireland? I was in, you were in Belfast. I was in Cork, Ireland. It's the southern part. Uh, so right now, what I'm going to do is I'll answer the comments in just a minute. I'm going to take this and put this in the oven and pop this on in there. My oven's at 350. I'm going to set the timer for 10 minutes and check it. I am going to wash my hands real quick. Yeah, so I was in Cork, Ireland, um, and I got there for St. Patrick's Day. Stayed there for like three days. So I hope you had a good time in Ireland. Uh, it was my first time in Ireland. Let me move my camera up while we talk. While we talk a bit. Yeah, that was my first time in Ireland, and I went to Cork, Ireland, and it was a lot of fun. I stayed with some uh, YouTubers that I know. Um, they're family vloggers, really cool people, and it's called, they're called the Hooligans, but it's spelled with an S, so it's the S-H-U-I-L-I, -I, I can't even do it off the top of my head, <laughs> but it's like, it sounds like, it's spelled like Shooligans, but it's called Hooligans. Um, let's see, where am I in the comments? Uh, you got a puppy during the weekend? Oh, that must be so cool. What kind of puppy was it? Have you had McDonald's sausage gr McGriddle? I have, yeah, and it was pretty good. Your name is Jabari. Hello, Jabari. I'm glad I know your name. Hi, I like your channel. You make cool foods. Thank you, Demetrius. I really appreciate that. I enjoy making fun stuff. Uh, Evelyn Perez says hi. Hi. Slice and Rice. Hey, my friends who were at Playlist Live with me. Slice and Rice, Matt and Glory. Uh, they just reached over 100,000 subscribers about a month ago. Really cool people. And go check out their channel. Just If you just click on their name and right next to it, you'll see three little dots. Click on that and say go to their channel. Check them out because you're going to love it. They make really cool comedy stuff. Uh, let's see. Cameron Romo. I did. It was great. Uh, I didn't want to leave. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know the feeling. I don't want to leave either on my vacation. I just want to stay there. Uh, cool. Ivan. Yep. Uh, I think it's cool that you interact with us. Not a lot of people talk to their subscribers. Well, I try to because you guys are amazing. Y'all do such a good job of giving me suggestions because you don't know how hard it is sometimes to come up with suggestions and you guys are amazing. Uh, last live feed, y'all gave me suggestions. In fact, part of that recipe is right over there. I know you can't tell what it is yet. Uh, because it's not done. After I'm done with this live stream, I'm going to finish that up. And I'm really excited about that. For this Sunday's video is going to be amazing. You're going to, you don't want to miss it for sure. It's going to be so much fun. Um, let's see. Chocolate chip cookie baked in a cast iron pan. That's awesome. I bet it's going to be delicious. I, I think it is. It better be. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be delicious. I'm just looking in the oven as I talk to you. Uh, Philip C says, hi, hi. Did you see Ready Player One? No, I did not. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> uh, we don't know the puppy's breed. Oh, not yet. We have to go get to the vet. Oh, cool. But still, you have a cute puppy. Uh, either way, that's awesome. Just interested. <laughs> is this like crunchy cookie or soft, chewy cookie? Sounds great, by the way. Yes, it's going to be like a soft, chewy cookie. And it shouldn't be crunchy if I don't let it cook too much. We'll see, right? Live streams are always a challenge because I'm talking to you guys and sometimes I get distracted. But I want it to be a little gooey because I'm actually going to take some ice cream, some vanilla ice cream, and put on top of it and be like cookie a la mode because it's going to be awesome. Uh, I hardly ever get to do meetups with YouTubers because we live so... 
talking with you is the next best thing. Well, awesome. I'm glad you enjoy this talk because I'm happy to talk to you guys. You guys are amazing. You support me in every way, and I really appreciate that. That's why I try to do these live streams every Tuesday and just do a little simple, simple little recipe that we can, then we can talk. Uh, homemade Butterfinger ice cream. That's a great suggestion, Seth. Thank you. James, would you ever get a dog? Slice and Rice asked if I ever get a dog. I love dogs. I would get a dog. The only problem is I live alone and I travel a lot. And if I think it's unfair to the dog. I love dogs too much to leave them alone for such a long period of time. And uh, it would just be unfair to the dog. I would love to have a dog, but I just travel too much and that's not good. I, I love animals. Uh, love your simplicity of your cooking. Thank you. Hello, how are you? I was wondering when you're going to stream again. Every Tuesday night around 6 p.m. my time. I don't know what time it is right where you are. Uh, do a challenge to buy three packs of Skittles and make something. Ooh, that's interesting. You know, I was going to do a challenge when I was at Playlist Live. I might do it when I'm at VidCon. We'll see. Uh, something along those lines. Do you cook professionally? I do not. I do it just for fun on YouTube. It's a lot of fun. Hey guys, why I got a chance. I'm going to, uh, true, true, I respect that. This is Glory. Oh, Glory. Thank you, Glory. <laughs> I wish I could eat what you make through the screen. I know we really need that, um, that smell-o-vision or, you know, where you can just send something over the internet to you, like, kind of like a fax, but I can just send food to you. That'd be awesome. I just want to share with you guys, um, I know he's not in here right now, I was hoping he'd be in here by now, but he is on he in the UK time. Uh, someone sent me fan mail to my P.O. box, and you can find my P.O. box in the description of every video. And it was just so cool that this young man sent me this recipe for strawberry cheesecake Swiss roll. And I will be making that sometime soon. So... You know, thank you so much. Um, his name on here is Stitch the Voice. Uh, I believe it's Jack in real life, but really cool, Jack, um, or Stitch the Voice, however you want to be known. But really cool, and I'm going to definitely give this a shot. I'm going to be making this sometime. I can't say when exactly because I got a lot going on with just getting back from Playlist Live from traveling. But it was so nice of him to send me this recipe and written it out and everything. And, you know, just it just warms my heart that you guys are so amazing. And it's just so great. So I just wanted to mention that. And you guys are great. Uh, let me catch up with the comments now. Uh, Poke fan says, love you. Oh, I love you guys. Love you too. Do you know... Made Norman. I do not. Have you ever had any pets? I have had pets growing up uh, when I was living with my parents. And in fact, my parents still have pets. Uh, my parents have a dog. Actually, my dad has a little pug. He looks just like Doug the Pug, which I saw over the weekend. Doug the Pug, famous dog on the internet. I saw him. Uh, in fact, I got pushed out of the way because security was like, get out of the way. We have Doug the Pug coming through. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Uh <laughs> But are there any desserts that you can make with Milo and also when you are going to make that chug jug? Oh, good, 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 uh, good call on the chug jug. I will be making a chug jug for sure. I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to do it, but I will give you a hint. That over there has something to do with another recipe you guys uh, suggested last Tuesday. And it will be out this Sunday for sure because I'm going to finish it after I'm done with this live stream. And you guys are amazing because you came up with that all by yourself. So thank you so much. And it has to do, I'll even tell you, it has to do with Fortnite. And I'm really excited about it because um, it, this, this video Sunday is going to be so much fun because I'm going to be doing something that I usually don't do. I'm putting myself out there, people. Uh, we're going to just have fun. So you don't want to miss it this Sunday for sure. Oh, it's my letter. Poke fan. Oh, it's your letter. Oh, okay. You have a different name on here now. Did you change your name? Awesome. Uh, do you watch anime? I don't. I know what it is. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Uh, let's see, James. Something that seems pretty cool and simple is uh, Kalia, Kalia bread. 
Uh, it's soft and sweet Jewish bread. Okay. It's really nice. Maybe you could do your signature thing and make it taste better. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can make something taste better after all these years. I mean, Jewish, Jewish tradition has been around for a long time, but I'll try. <laughs> Best anime. Uh, do you remember the first video you made? Yes. The very first video I made, my channel was different. I did a travel video. I'm just glancing down at my uh, cookie in the oven right now. I do remember that. Now, if you're, it was a travel video to Berlin, Germany, uh, Christmas markets in Berlin, Germany, and that video is still on my channel. If you search all the way back to the very first video I ever made, it's still there. But uh, the first food video I think I made was a Kit Kat ice cream cake. I believe that was my first food video. Yes. Uh, love this cake so much. It is great. Awesome. Cringe, and I think that's talking about the uh, cheesecake that she, that you sent me with the um, recipe, which is really cool and really nice of them to do that. I'm gonna check this real quick just to make sure I don't burn. It's coming along good. Um, <laughs> I must do another five minutes. I put it in ten minutes at first just to check it and see. Uh, it's gonna need at least five more minutes, I think. Uh, let's see. Uh, Oh, a pug. That is cute. Yes. If you had a pug, you would name him Frank from Men in Black. Yes, that's so cool. I, that is a cool movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, your dog. You had a dog for 10 years, but unfortunately passed. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I know because dogs are like family members. We all love them so much. I mean, they're, they have their own personalities no matter what kind of dog it is. I mean, we all love them. We all love animals. I mean... Who doesn't? They're awesome. I'm so excited for Sunday. Me too. I am so excited. I want to be doing things that, I, you know, that really take the video to the next level. And I'm just, I'm so excited. Like, you're going to see a different side to me all together. So, I'm excited. Uh, Jay Smith, love your videos. Thanks. You're always sharing. Have, uh, have learned a lot from me. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Do you play Fortnite? I have never played Fortnite, but I, I got to do it. And you're going to be surprised this Sunday when you see the video. Trust me. Um, you'll see. <laughs> That's a hint for this Sunday's video. The Kit Kat Ocean Cake is uh, my iPod's lock screen. Awesome. That's so cool. It is such a neat cake, isn't it? That Kit Kat Ice Cream Cake is just, it's amazing. I love Kit Kats. And yeah, why not? It's just so aesthetically pleasing. Yes. Uh, I have a Basset Hound. Michael Miller has a Basset Hound. Awesome. Have you made a Snickers cake or ice cream? Yes, I've actually made a Snickers ice cream cake before. This was, I think, two or three years ago. And, oh, wow, it just tasted amazing. Because the week before it, I had made uh, homemade caramel. And I used that homemade caramel in the Snickers ice cream cake. And it, it tasted amazing. And, you know, why not, right? I'm just glancing down at our little cookie, just making sure. Uh, let's see. Will you make a cake or something that looks like the house from Up? You had mentioned that before. I remember that. Uh, the movie Up, the, the Disney movie Up, which is a sad movie. <laughs> I, it was like almost like the only cartoon I cry at besides Bambi, which is crazy. Like I'm very sensitive if you didn't notice. Uh Oh, what's up? I love your videos. I'm a fan, and my uncle is Joseph. Oh, that's your uncle. Your uncle's so cool. Yeah, I follow Joseph, uh, you know, but on Instagram, and I'm pretty sure I follow him on YouTube as well. I don't get to watch as many YouTube videos as I used to watch because I'm always busy making them, so I don't get to see that many. Uh, but um, yeah, Joseph's been a longtime supporter of mine, and your uncle's awesome, by the way. And I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're checking out my channel. You're really creative. Thank you, Natalie. Natty. Natty Ruby. I'm guessing that's short for Natalie. I'm just guessing. I have a friend, Natalie, and she's called Natty. Uh, how about a Star Wars theme thing for May 4th? Yeah, might be a bit late this year, but still a good idea. Uh, the Candy Floss Burrito was such a neat idea. It wasn't my original idea. I had seen it before. Uh, someone shared it with me on Facebook, and I was just like, yeah, I'm definitely making this. It just looked awesome. So it wasn't like my, I didn't like come up with it out of the blue, but 
you know, there's a lot of people that made it, but I just wanted to make sure I made it and shared it with you guys so you would see how I would make one. And yeah, it was amazing. It was so simple. It took me like five minutes to make that whole thing. It was so neat. It's just, you know, candy floss or cotton candy, whatever you want to call it. And you just put ice cream on it, some sprinkles, roll it up, and that's it. It's simple. Uh, yeah, so the Star Wars thing, getting back to the Star Wars thing, I've made a BB-8 cake, which is so cool. That, that took so much time. In fact, when I made the BB-8 cake, I actually used these things to make it, which are round cake pans. Uh, do you make birthday cakes? I do make birthday cakes uh, occasionally. I don't like do it for a living or anything, but I do. Uh, how much money do you spend each video? Uh, it depends on the video. Some videos cost more than others. Obviously, if it has chocolate in it, chocolate costs a lot of money. Uh, there are times when I have to buy certain things that, um, like certain like cake pans or something to make a video just right. Um, even today, I went to the grocery store twice to make what I'm going to be making. And uh, there's a couple things I had to get, and then I forgot something, so I had to go back. So, yeah, it adds up. I mean, let me check the cookie real quick. I'll be right back. A couple more minutes. So I'll put three more minutes on there, and that should be about right. Uh, so, yeah, it, some things cost more than others, but it's not really about the money. I enjoy making these things. And if it costs a little bit of money to make it, that's fine. That's, that's kind of like why YouTube does their little... Um, monetization thing it kind of just like replenishes you for the money you spend to make the stuff so that's what's fine it's an investment in making stuff for you guys to enjoy uh are you planning on getting married i know it's not my business it's okay you can ask uh, i'm not planning on getting married anytime soon uh maybe one day but not anytime soon but it's okay you can ask questions i don't mind if i don't like it i just won't answer but i'm okay with answering those questions uh, this Saturday is your birthday. Well, happy early birthday, Mega Man. I, you know, very happy birthday to you. Uh, here's your virtual birthday cake. It's invisible, but, you know, hope you enjoy it. <laughs> but happy birthday to you. May I ask how old you're going to be or if you mind sharing that? You don't have to. Uh, when is my birthday? My birthday is in October. It's October 9th. So that's my birthday. He said he appreciated it and thanks. Awesome. I'm glad. Uh, yep. And you're talking about Joseph, right? Yep. So that's, let's see. How would you say your name? It's Cray2Y2WO. Hmm. Is that like crazy, crazy two? I, I don't know. I don't know how we would say that. What gave you the inspiration to get on YouTube? Well, I got on YouTube many, many years ago, and I just what gave me the inspiration was I was traveling to Germany, first time I ever traveled outside of the United States, and I searched on YouTube, or, or not on YouTube, just on Google, I searched for the hotel that I was going to be staying at to see if I can see what's around there. And this was before like travel vlogs were big, and uh, there was some guy just videotaping from the hotel all the way down the street that I'd be staying at. And I said, wow, that was a cool idea. I got to see the place before I even arrived there. And now we take that for granted now. But back then, that was a very, um, you know, neat thing. We didn't get to see things before we went to places. It was just, you book it, you go, and you hope it's good. Uh, but now we're so used to the internet and whether it's book, Google, Facebook, all that stuff. It's, you know, um, it's out there now, but it wasn't then. So I said, like, what an amazing thing. So I said, when I travel, I want to share my videos. And that's how it started. And then I wanted to share more stuff and I couldn't travel all the time. So I cooked because I enjoy cooking. So food and travel are my two passions. And I just worked it into YouTube and it was fun. And you guys liked it and you enjoyed what I put out. So I enjoy making it. Uh, do you have a best friend? If you don't mind, I, I do, let me check this real quick. Still another couple more minutes. Uh, I do have a best friend. Um, I grew up with him. He's been my best friend from since I was like 10. And in fact, my brother married his sister. So it's kind of like in the family type of thing too. So it works out good. 
Uh, so that's like my best friend. Then I have other best friends that I would consider my best friends from YouTube. So I have a couple of those as well. Uh, hi, Evelyn. Your dad's birthday is October 11th, only two days after mine. That's so cool. You should do a video game theme treat. Yes, it's coming up. Trust me. Very, very soon. <laughs> Let's hint, hint this Sunday. <laughs> uh, you got it right. Awesome. I'm glad. Crazy too. That's how you would say it, huh? And Nat is short for Natalie. Yeah. Natalie. Yeah. Great. Hi, Ruby. How are you? Uh, I'm not married either. Awesome. Cool. I'm up. Yeah. Evelyn, hi. Can you try make deep fried pickles? Mike Miller says, can I try to make deep fried pickles? I'm not a huge fan of pickles, um, but I, you know, hey, I can do that sometime for sure. Tina, hey, Tina, how are you? Uh, you just gave me an idea. I'm going to make one of those cookies tomorrow. Thanks. No problem, Tina. Um, it's just a fun thing to do. It should be pretty simple. Um, just, you know, how long you put it in the oven for is different than if you were to like, you know, scoop out like a, a small amount so it's probably going to be in the oven a little longer than normal thank you so much for answering all everyone's questions no problem natalie uh hey uh joseph uh sorry you're coming in late no problem i'm glad you're here i'm happy you're here your uh, i believe your nephew's here or niece i i they said their uncle is joseph and i'm niece or nephew i'm not sure um Hey, big fan here. Thank you for making channel videos. Hugs from Portugal. Hello from Portugal. Let me check these real quick. Ooh, it's so close. So, so close. Um, don't let me forget about that. <laughs> uh, would you go live on your birthday? Me? I don't know. I might. We'll see. You should see Ready Player on its based off of document Atari game. Huh. See, I love Atari. I grew up with Atari. That was the first video game system ever, and I'm old enough to remember it. Hello, James from Texas. Hello. Uh, cookie made in cast iron skitty. Awesome. You're great. <laughs> great birthday. Yeah. Awesome. I appreciate that, Chris. Um, can you make some M&M popsicles? That's a good suggestion. M&M popsicles. I haven't tried that before. Good suggestion. You all are amazing. Uh, you're nice. Love your work. Thank you. You're not allowed to bake things. Okay, well, you know, just uh, some people enjoy watching me make these things. You don't have to actually do it yourself. If you enjoy watching, I appreciate that. And maybe someday you'll make stuff when you get a chance, right? You're not, uh, you should do Dr. Pepper pancakes. See, you're always good with the Dr. Pepper suggestions, uh, Joseph. <laughs> you should meet up with healthy junk food. Ah, funny you say that. Over the weekend I did at Playlist Live. We we did some stuff, and I'm in one of their videos coming up. I won't tell you which one, but you have to look and watch. So I am in Healthy Junk Foods videos in one of their videos coming up. So, yeah, I did meet up with them. <laughs> uh, JP and Julia are awesome people from J Healthy Junk Food. Uh, who is your favorite actor and why, and what is your favorite movie of him? Hmm. Ooh, I'm, I'm just horrible at that. I would say, oh, so Joseph says it's your nephew. <laughs> Mario or Luigi? Uh, I have to go with Mario. I'm just looking at the cookie. Oh, it's getting there. Um, let me see. I'm get back to favorite actor and movie. You know, I, I like Eddie Murphy in the movie Trading Places from years ago. But there's so many great actors, and I can't really like narrow it down to one. But I would say that movie kind of I really like. Just do. Have you made any cheesecakes ever? I have made cheesecakes before. I've made lots of different kinds. I made uh, Mountain Dew cheesecake, Reese's peanut butter cup cheesecakes. I've made all kinds of cheesecakes. Mountain Dew burger. Andrew says Mountain Dew burger. That's a cool suggestion. James, 94,000 people enjoy your content. Picture 94 people standing in front of you right now. Well done. <laughs> I know, that's amazing. Well, they wouldn't be able to fit because my living room is directly behind me. And trust me, 94,000 people would not fit in there. 94 people wouldn't fit in my living room. I have a very small living room. <laughs> James, sorry about last chat when I used gray. I 
Kent, great guy. I don't, I don't mind. Uh, let's see. Here, I'll show Michael Miller. Follow him on Instagram. There you go. It's all good, right? No bad stuff. <laughs> Have you made chocolate pancakes? I don't mind shouting people out, just as long as you're good stuff. No bad stuff. Uh, Mountain Dew potatoes and Mountain Dew steak. Ooh, Mountain Dew potatoes sound good. There's something I can do with Mountain Dew potatoes. I've already thought about something. Ooh, that is getting, that's looking really good, that, that cookie right now. Mm. But I don't want to pull it out yet. It's not quite ready. Oh, hi there, Johnny San Juan. Hello. Mountain Dew hot dog, Joseph? Wow. So you go from Mountain Dew steak to Mountain Dew hot dog. <laughs> that's pretty, that's a lot of Mountain Dew. You meant great, not Kent. Okay. Uh, hey, typos, that's autocorrect. It happens. Have you made anything with Oreos and strawberries or strawberries? I have with both. Uh, I've made lots of things with Oreos. Oreos. I've made Oreo ice cream cake, which is probably like one of my best. I made Oreo milkshake. Uh, I made strawberry. Ooh, I made lots of strawberry stuff. Strawberry ice cream. I made like a strawberry jello, like low calorie strawberry jello thing one year. Um, let's see. You make the super amazing good food. Thank you. Thank you, Johnny. I appreciate that. What's your favorite Mario game? It would have to be the early Nintendo, like, Super Mario games. I haven't played much lately. I really haven't. I'm, I'm horrible. I, I don't even have, a, like, a PlayStation or anything in my house. I do have one of those old Atari things, though. <laughs> Mustard potato salad. There you go. Mustard potato salad. I'm all on board with that. Just make a separate channel for Mountain Dew. <laughs> I do make separate days for the Mountain Dew uploads, and it's every Saturday. That's the day I put out Mountain Dew videos, and then Sunday is my normal videos, and Tuesday, of course, is my live streams. Do you eat what you make by yourself, or do you share? Well, it depends on what I make. If I make, like, cookies or something like that, I will either share it with my neighbors, family members, whatever. Um, you know, something like that. But if I make something that's ice cream, I can't really bring that out and about and share it. So unless someone comes to my house, I'll eat it and uh, just slowly over time, you know, store it. And let's see. What did I miss? You didn't miss much. We're just talking. Oreo cake is really nice. Thank you. I do. I love Oreo cake. We made the Kool-Aid slushies. You know, they were so easy to make, and I love those. And depending on what flavor you use, the red, the, um, what was it, what's red? Uh, is it cherry? The, the cherry was so flavorful on those Kool-Aid slushies. Uh, that's really cool that your uncle, you know, y'all make that stuff. And, and that's why I make these videos, too, these recipe videos, because it's just that fun time you're sharing with your family and your friends, and you're making things. And these are the things you're going to remember when you grow up. I'm going to check this cookie real quick again. Oh, it's getting close. Oh. Yeah, another minute or two, that thing should be done. Uh, what about using Monster Energy drinks for a video? I have. I made Monster Energy drink cupcakes one time. And that was a long time ago. That was early on. Uh, you can always check my channel. If you ever want to look and see if I made a certain video, if you go into my channel on YouTube... And there's a little search icon just on my channel itself, not like way up top, but right on the top, like right below, like my channel name to the right, there'll be a little search thing. You search anything like that, it'll show if, it, if I made that. It'll show one of my videos. So you can see it's very easily. You should make Nutella lava cake. I've made Nutella cookie or Nutella donuts. Nutella filled donuts, which is really cool. And I made a Nutella, like, um, almost like a Nutella cheesecake, I think. It was like a, a chocolate cake thing. Almost like a tart. Have you watched Infinity War? I have not. No spoilers. And yep, no, we won't, we won't talk. But I haven't seen it, so it's easy for me not to spoil it. <laughs> Mountain Dew is popular in the United States besides root beer and cream soda are your favorite. Oh, yeah. See, yeah, I think Mountain Dew is just one of those things that people have that cult following. Like, hey, I really love Mountain Dew. 
Uh, your favorite console is Xbox 360. I do plan on making like uh, either an Xbox controller or something like that because someone had mentioned that to me. They want me to make that. Uh, what's your favorite thing that you've made? You know, I made a giant claw machine cake about six months ago, and I made it to where the claw machine works. That was so much fun to make. It was. So, it took like three days to make it. It was so much fun, though, and I was so happy I got it to work at the end, and it grabbed like the candy that was in the machine. It was huge. It was like three feet tall, and it was. If you haven't seen that video, you gotta check it out. And it was a lot of fun making that video. Um, let's see. What's up, Dominique? Um, vanilla or cherry Coke cake? Ooh, see, I like the cherry Coke. I, I'll go with that. I really like the Death by Chocolate video. Oh, the Death by Chocolate video was just, it was amazing. It was so chocolatey, of course. Uh, let me check this real quick. Oh, that cookie is, I, I want it to be a little more brown around the edges. It's, it's almost done right now. I could probably pull it out and be done. Uh, chocolate dip bananas. Yes, see that's a good one. It's very easy. That's something I could do on a live stream. Our peanut butter chocolate rice cakes. Mm, there you go. Mountain Dew rice cakes. <laughs> uh, let's see. Make fried stuffed jalapenos. You know I don't care for hot stuff, but um, but I know a lot of people love those things. Michael Miller Mountain Dew pretzels. See, that's interesting. I wouldn't know how to do that first off, but I'll figure it out if I want to. Mario-themed food, please. <laughs> yes, there's a possibility. I have a lot of themed stuff coming up soon, so uh, keep an eye out. Half of the Avengers die at the end and the movie. No, they don't. Don't lie. Uh, no spoilers. I like the Coca-Cola. Oh, the big Coca-Cola gummy bottle thing. That was a lot of fun making too, and I had failed the first time I made that because I didn't use enough gelatin. So I learned. You should try to make. I don't know what that is. Passapatha. I don't. I don't know what that is. Uh, maybe you should try to make bubblegum pancakes if you can't. It's okay. Well, that's a good suggestion. I love these suggestions. Bubblegum pancakes. Interesting. Do you rewatch any of your childhood favorite cartoons? Sometimes, occasionally, uh, not often. I'm gonna check this cookie. Mm, let me see, you guys can help me out. I'm gonna angle this down, and you're gonna tell me whether this is done or I should go back in for more. So what do you guys think? It's a little brown around the edges soft it'll have to sit out for a bit i think i think it's done but what do you guys think you guys are the experts you guys are the experts what do you think done or not so let me know you think it's done because at this point it still should be a bit gooey in the middle so when i put the ice cream r.i.p <laughs> yeah just kidding uh jose says all the avengers die yeah uh, Spidey. <laughs> so, what do y'all think? Done. I say done. I, yeah. Uh, cookie dough jalapenos. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. I think this is done, Mega Man. And, uh, so, I'm going to take a picture of that because it looks really, really good. Oh, if I don't break my phone. <laughs> Yeah, that wouldn't be good. Let's take a couple of pictures of this, and I um, guess it'll help if I get my earphone, earphones out of the way. So Ivory says it's done. Jose says it's done. Ruby, all y'all says it's done. Looks amazing. Maybe with some vanilla ice cream. You know that's coming next. Vanilla ice cream will be on its way. So we're going to put some. Should I just put the ice cream right on top right now? Or dish it out, put something there. Where is my, there's my ice cream scooper. Mm -mm -mm. First I'll get a little picture of this. Gotta move some stuff out of the way. Good. Now, 
Let's dish out some ice cream on this thing. So your favorite cartoon is World Gumball. Huh. I haven't heard of that. Hopefully it's a cool one. What happened to the blue M&M oven mitt? I have that. But certain things are easier to, to grab with the other mitts. <laughs> looking good oh thanks what's my favorite dessert anything chocolatey mostly chocolate and peanut butter you should spread the ice cream on top like spread it or just put a big gold here let's scoop some of this out you think like right like that got to get a picture of that got to get a couple pictures for my Instagram if you're not following me on Instagram go on over to fun foods YT check it out Instagram fun foods YT and you'll see some of these amazing pictures Obviously not at the moment because I'm taking them, but yeah, we'll get these pictures done. I think that's good. Let's get a picture or two with my phone so that I can easily share it. There we go. All right, so let's get a little plate and... Uh, So let's catch up on the comments real quick here. All right, so, so melt into cookie. Yes, it has to melt into cookie, of course. Maybe Mountain Dew churros would taste good. Mm -mm. Greetings from the Netherlands. I was in the Netherlands a month and a half ago. Amsterdam, of course. And that was my first time there, great country. Um, let's see, what are you into besides cooking? Travel would be number one, sports. Put it all around. You're saying the ice cream, Natalie? Uh, that looks so good. You look like Iron Man opening the ice cream. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite ice cream? My favorite ice cream, of course, chocolate peanut butter. <laughs> Make a peanut butter jelly and Dorito sandwich and melt with... Cheetos cereal. Wow, that would be that would be something, koala freak. Wow. Make Taco Bell Doritos tacos. I love tacos. When you spread the ice cream on top, it would melt into the cake. Yes, it sure would. Uh, Oreo churros. I've made those before. Yeah, definitely go check those out on my channel because they were amazing. Oreo churros. Did you get nervous when you went live for the first time? Not really. Um, I, I think I've grown and I've gotten better. <laughs> but I wasn't really nervous, nervous, because I had been doing YouTube for a while when I went live. Looks delicious. Thank you. Everything you make sounds so good. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Good morning, John. Uh, you make all Maris awesome, Wyatt. I appreciate that. What do you say we cut into this thing? Let me make sure my camera's facing it right. Okay. So let's cut into this, and uh, I'm going to cut into it just like a pie. Ooh, that's hot. I forgot. <laughs> Do not touch that with your bare hands. Just a warning. Ooh, yes. Not good. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. Gooey, gooey, gooey. Mm. Of course, we're going to put that out of the way. Now, I'm going to use my spoon just to get some of that ice cream. Oof. Look at that. So, there's the ice cream, and it can melt into the hot, gooey chocolate chip cookie and you know what let me angle this up 
Oh, it's really late for you there. Hey, let me angle it so you want to be able to see me while we eat this, right? Um, let me see. Let me check these comments real quick. Checking in. World Supporter. Hello. How are you? Um, I'm glad you're here. Uh, make Mexican food? Yes, I will. I've made a couple things. Not like big time Mexican food, but I, I made a couple things. You should try to do Mountain Dew fruitcake, like the old school fruitcake. Uh, you get during the holidays. You, you mean a thing that everyone never eats because it's just fruitcake? <laughs> uh, Wolfie says, yum. It's 11.15 p.m. there, which, oh, it's very late. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I wish I could do this earlier. Is your hand okay? It, it is okay, yes. I just have to remember not to touch the hot plate. I totally forgot about that in the middle of the live, live stream. But yeah, no serious damage. But that's cooking for you. You know, they say you can't stand the heat. Get out of the kitchen, right? It happens. It's not nothing serious. <laughs> uh, you're eating pizza while watching the live stream. Awesome. Uh, no better thing to eat for me, I'd say. It looks like you got jump scared. Yes. Uh, when I touch that hot uh, cast iron thing, remember, make sure you use oven thing, oven mitts constantly. Don't want to burn you guys. And making you hungry, I'm going to be making strawberry banana cheesecake. Oh, for potluck, that sounds amazing. What do you say I give this a shot? I have a little bit of ice cream here. Here we go. Mm. Yes. Ooh. Got a little piece of the uh, butterscotch in there that we put in there. I forgot about that. Mmm. Mmm. Chocolate chips, butterscotch. We really made... You guys did great. You guys did amazing. Thank you. Mmm. 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 So, make Puerto Rican food. That's good. I want to go to Puerto Rico. I've never been to Puerto Rico. I really want to go one day. And I will. I'll get there someday. But I really want to go there because I hear the food is amazing. The food's amazing. So that's on my list for sure. Do you know Robert Robertson salt and vinegar? How does it taste for you? It's my favorite salt. <laughs> Tastes also very normal. Oh, really? Because um, I like, what is it? Is it... Is it Utz? I think Utz or Lay's. One of them makes a salt and vinegar, and I like that. So, But I've never heard of the Robinson one, that brand. I would try it for sure. Have you ever tried Sri Lankan food? I have not, no. I really I want to travel the world and try all different kinds of food. I really do. I love food. I love travel. So that's definitely something good. Of course, if you give me suggestions on what the one thing I should try from each of these places, I would be happy to, to try them for sure. Make a giant burrito next time. That's a good suggestion. Uh, I don't think I've made a giant burrito before. Do you game? Like uh, MLG game? Like, you know, like game consoles? I usually don't. Um, but, you know, if I'm at, like my niece or nephew's house, something like that, I might. Mountain Dew oatmeal cream pie. <laughs> World Supporter says looks good. Thank you, World Supporter. Natalie says I want. Have you heard of dollar store steak? I have not. Is that where like you you just take like a cheap steak and make it into something really cool? Oh, Dave's here. Hey, Dave. How are you? I'm glad you're here. Sorry, but got to go now. Just wanted to show support. Well, thank you for showing support and stopping by, World Supporter. I really appreciate that. Nice person. The salt is not chips, it's salt you put on your food. Oh, really? Okay. Interesting. Uh, your puppy Miko fell asleep to your videos. Oh, well, that's cool. Uh, you should make... So Raven Hawkins writes as you should make. Uh, and then Mega Man, hi, uh, or was it? I had a Danish hot dog when visiting my Danish friend. Oh, that's cool. Did you visit them in... Uh, Denmark? <laughs> um, do you play Fortnite? I have not played it, but we got some special, a special little thing coming out this Sunday. And for Sunday's video, you might see something about that. Let's just say, hint, hint, <laughs> Sunday at 2 o'clock. 
You can call me Dom. Okay, Dom, instead of Dominique, awesome. Hannah, hi, how are you? So did y'all see what we made here, Hannah and Dave? Y'all came in late. Let me angle this down so you can see what we made. So this is what we made. It is a chocolate chip cookie, but also you guys suggested I put in some butterscotch morsels in there as well. So not only does it have chocolate chip cookies in there, it has butterscotch morsels. And then of course I put some vanilla ice cream on top and I've been eating it as I talk to you. Um, so it's just amazing. You guys are always so cool on helping me, you know, go the extra step here. Uh, you're a great guy. Thank you so much. You're awesome. Um, hey, you're awesome. Your uncle's awesome. Everyone's awesome. And I really appreciate your support. And thank you so much. Uh, we met in Tivoli. Oh, okay. That's cool. Jose is okay. Uh, Dave, mm, you should make daiquiri ice cream. Hmm. Sounds good. Uh, what was that Shylan Bollinger? My family every once in a while makes uh, Calico beans. Have you ever tried it before? I have not tried that before. No, no, uh, you can be lucky. You uh, otherwise you would be buying a lot of ice cream. Oh, yeah, you, you eat a lot of ice cream, huh? Ice cream, good. I like it. How does the butterscotch taste with the chocolate? It was good. I forgot all about that. We put the butterscotch in there until I took a bite. And I was like, what was that? And I was like, oh, the butterscotch. Yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, so Joseph says, so Mother's Day is coming up. What do you have in mind? Suggestion was what should you make your parents, a rose cake or flower cake? You know, they're all great suggestions. Uh, one of the best things I did for Mother's Day, and this was years ago on this channel, I made, it was a rose boutique, bro, uh, bo, bo kit, bo I can't even talk. Uh, you know, like a thing of flowers, but it was like a round ball and I put rose, like I decorated cupcakes like rose tops and I put it around there and that was really cool. Um, and then also did one, I made a cake, like a tea kettle cake, which was really cool too. Um, I, I think those things are really fun. They are a lot of work though. Uh, Dom says, thanks for being awesome. Thank you for, thank you for supporting me. You're awesome. Dave says, ice cream, Ivory, James, I'm watching you and texting my boyfriend at the same time. Awesome. Uh, but don't don't tell him that you're ignoring him and watching me. <laughs> uh, but cool. Uh, hmm, I've just got the cast iron pan to try that. Oh, well, awesome. The cast iron is cool to cook with. It's it, it heats evenly, so you don't have like problems with like some older pans are bad. They can be expensive, but it's well worth it if you cook a lot. Uh, you should shoot a POV video. I don't know what that is. Um, I don't know. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Would you ever cook a steak with red wine? I, I usually don't use wine to cook with a steak. Um... I usually just go all out the very little bit as possible. I just want like butter and steak and a little bit of salt and pepper. And that's it. I'm a very minimalist when I'm cooking steak. You should try to make Fortnite dancing or dances emotions food. Fortnite dances emotions food. There's something coming up with Fortnite this Sunday. I'll give you that hint. And it has to do with dancing too. So... And it was part of your suggestions last blog, last uh, live. Do I blog? I I vlog. I do blog. I put my food recipes on my uh, website, which is funfoodsyt.com. And I am getting better at that. I usually do once a week. I put a video up or a, a recipe up. I'm sorry. So blogging wise, yes. And if you mean vlog, I do vlog when I travel. And I usually put those videos up on, let's say, a Thursday. Uh, I don't know if I'll have this one edited for this Thursday to go up for a playlist. It might, might not. We'll see. Uh, don't order anything from edible arrangements. Hmm, okay, I've never done it, so I don't know. My puppy is lazy. All puppies are lazy, but that's what makes them cute. I have a YouTube channel. It's the Crazy to Don't Forget to Say Channels. Don't forget to say channels. Here, let me just, uh, I'm going to go to your channel right now. 
Hopefully it doesn't mess up. And I'm going to check it out. And you know what? I'm going to click it. And I'm going to go back to your channel when we're all done and check it out. Because you're awesome. And your uncle's awesome. <laughs> so, yes. So I just subscribed to you. Crazy too. Yep. Uh, we use cast iron for a lot of things. Mostly for pineapple upside down cake. Yes. Oh, cast iron can take all you throw at it. You're, you're right. Cast iron is just, I mean, that's old school right there. POV means point of view. Okay. Good, good call. <laughs> the dollar store steak is more like uh, dog food. I got one for my dog. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, like, maybe I put a GoPro, shoot yourself, cooking. It would be fun. Yeah, that would be cool. Uh, would you make pot brownies? I know it's a weird question. I would not make them uh, for a couple of reasons. One is because I don't use, so I don't want to have that stuff here. So that's just me, and that's why. Uh, it's uh, it not fair. Dave's got a cast iron pan from 1880s. Wow, Dave, old school. Oh, also, I just want to point out, too, I talked earlier, but some of you guys weren't in here. Earlier, I just want to point out, uh, he's probably gone now because uh, he's from the UK, sent me some fan mail, and in case, uh, he was really nice, he came from the UK, young man sent me this cheese, was a strawberry cheesecake Swiss roll recipe. I'm definitely going to be making this sometime, but I just wanted to give him another shout out, that's, uh, his channel name was Stitch the Voice. And uh, it was just so cool getting fan mail like that. And, you know, he put that whole recipe in there. So I'm definitely going to be making it sometime. Um, and, you know, it, it's just awesome when you receive, you know, mail like that from people. And just something as simple as a nice little letter. And I know he took the time to write it out and wrote out that recipe for me. So I'm definitely going to be making that sometime you know, because it looks amazing. I mean, strawberry cheesecake Swiss roll is, sounds amazing. So I just wanted to point that out because he is, that was really cool of him to do that. Your video is entertaining and satisfying. Well, thank you. Uh, you should do a V-Bucks giveaway. I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, let's see. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I am so thankful and had a notification. Oh, I'm glad you had a notification. That's cool. I'm going to check it out afterwards because I haven't, obviously I haven't watched anything, but I'll check it out afterwards. Uh, iPhone or Android? I have an iPhone. And I don't even know where my iPhone, oh, it's over there. <laughs> I was like, I don't even know where it is right now because I'm in the middle of uh, this live stream. Uh, can you make Dr. Pepper brownies? Huh. At first, I saw that comment. I thought it was Joseph's comments, but no. Uh, Joseph usually asks for the Dr. Pepper recipes. But yes, Joseph, or yes, Koala Freak, uh, someday I think I will make Dr. Pepper brownies for sure. So we're going to be ending this live stream. Uh, wow, we've been going on this for over an hour now. Huh. Didn't even realize we're on this long. But we're going to be ending this really soon. It's like money for Fortnite. Oh, really? Okay. See, I'm learning something new all the time. Uh, so we're going to be ending this really shortly here. Uh, last couple comments. I just want to say again, thank you all so much for coming on and helping me make this recipe. Like right here. You can see the ice cream's rolling down it. But it is really cool. It turned out well. Our chocolate chip and also butterscotch cookie in a cast iron pan. You guys are amazing, and as always, thank you for giving those suggestions. Uh, they said I can download Fortnite. Yes, I, I'm aware. I just haven't done it yet. Can you make homemade Oreo cookies? Uh, yeah, I could. Uh, so get more subscribers. Yep, that's true. Uh, you make some good things. Thank you. <laughs> no, don't end. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to end soon. It's been over an hour. Your food looks amazing. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, and thank all of you. Um, again, you can catch me next Tuesday night, same time, around 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, but thank you all for coming on, talking with me for all this time. You know, it really means a lot to me that I have the support of you guys. You gave me great suggestions, and it's awesome. It's awesome. So 
you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for everything. And, you know, just stay awesome, people. Stay awesome. Don't forget this Sunday is a really cool recipe. You don't want to miss it. So stay tuned. See you.